Hi guys, this is Dr. Nida with Keys of Health. I hope you're doing well and taking good care of yourself. In this video, I will hand you one of the keys of fighting anxiety and depression. Your gut talks. It talks to your brain and your brain listens. Your intestines have about 39 trillion microorganisms in it. This is what we call the microbiome or microflora. Here's an interesting fact. These microorganisms weigh approximately three pounds, which is the same weight as your brain. These microorganisms cannot be ignored and they don't like to be ignored. We feed them and they produce chemicals that we need. They send messages to the brain. Now here's another very interesting piece of information. People who are depressed or anxious seem to have different microbiome than people who are not depressed. People who are depressed tend to have an imbalance in the gut microbiome where they have larger number of bad bacteria which produce inflammatory conditions throughout the body. The best way to avoid or fix this condition is to have a diverse gut flora, meaning to have various different strains of gut bacteria, good bacteria. I will share with you how you can cultivate that diversity in your gut, but first we should know what causes this imbalance in the first place. As always, we have to start with diet. Diet high in sugar, processed food, fast food, and red meat, and low in fresh fruits and vegetables promote the growth of bad bacteria. Medications also do that, mainly antibiotics, but also other kinds of medication can cause this imbalance, especially long-term prescription medications. Age also makes a difference. As you get older, your microbiome becomes less diverse and needs additional help. The next thing that is often overlooked, but it is a very important factor when it comes to your overall health, including your gut health, and that is sleep. Irregular sleeping hours and insufficient sleep promote the development of bad bacteria and leads to inflammation in the body. Along with that, your physical activity levels also affect your microflora. People who tend to live more sedentary lifestyle, they spend long hours sitting or are just not moving enough, are not active enough, can develop an imbalance, whereas people who are physically active tend to have a more diverse and healthy microbiome. More and more research is proving the relationship between the gut microbiome and depression. The evidence is too strong to be ignored. So what can you do to cultivate a healthy gut microbiome? I will suggest a few things that are really helpful and have shown results. First thing, as always, is adjusting your diet. Eliminate processed and fast food from your diet, eliminate sugar, and reduce the intake of red meat. Instead, choose a more wholesome diet that is rich in colorful fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, seafood, and healthy fats. Mediterranean diet has shown to be quite effective in fighting depression. I will also highly recommend removing wheat and corn from your diet. You can consume lentils and other grains like quinoa, red millet, pearl millet, amaranth, and other ancient grains instead. The next thing that is very important for your gut microbiome is prebiotics. Prebiotics are the fiber that feeds the bacteria in your gut and keeps them healthy. It is basically food for your gut bacteria. Some good prebiotic-rich foods are garlic, onion, leeks, bananas, oatmeal, walnuts, dandelion greens, and acacia gum. These prebiotics are food for the probiotics. So what are probiotics? Probiotics contain the bacteria you ingest to increase the population of good bacteria and maintain a healthy balance. If the good bacteria are low, that's when the bad bacteria take over and wreak havoc in the body, including causing depressive symptoms. You can get probiotics from food or supplements, but it is always better to get them through food. Some probiotic-rich foods include yogurt, sauerkraut, pickles, kombucha, and kimchi. These foods contain live bacteria, so if you are severely immunocompromised, you should consult your doctor before taking these. However, if you are just adjusting your lifestyle and beginning to eat healthy, or you have depression-like symptoms, I would recommend taking supplements as well. The best time to take probiotic supplements is in an empty stomach, ideally first thing in the morning. That's because there is less residual acid in the stomach at that time. Your stomach secretes acid when you eat food in order to break it down. Some bacteria are resistant to stomach acid, 
but most good bacteria are not, especially if they're exposed for a long period of time. So you want the bacteria to pass through the stomach pretty quickly so the bacteria is not killed off by the acid and movement through the stomach is faster when it is empty. So probiotics are most effective when they are taken in an empty stomach or with a very light meal. You don't want to take them with coffee or tea. It is better if you take the supplements with a cup of water. And after a little while, you can drink whatever hot beverage you want. The next thing that is very effective in maintaining a proper balance of microbiome is physical activity. Preferably aerobics activities like brisk walking, swimming, hiking, running, or riding a bike. 30 minutes a day is all you need to maintain a healthy gut microbiome. Maintain proper blood circulation and exercising also releases chemicals in your body that help uplift the mood. So it's a win-win situation. Next big issue, like I mentioned earlier, is sleep. Now, the recommended daily sleep hours for adults are between 7 and 9 hours a night. But we are all different. Some people need less and some people need slightly more sleep. You know yourself best. The most important thing is to have a sleeping schedule. You must try to sleep at the same hours every night. This consistency is the key to overall good health. Even if you're not anxious or depressed, good gut health helps you reach optimal wellness. After all, the road to health is paved with good intestines. So whether you're looking to lose weight and belly fat, struggling with allergies and eczema, looking to strengthen your heart, this is the place to start. There is a reason microbiome is referred to as the second brain and secondary immune system. You want to choose a good probiotic supplement from a reputable company. Check the label to make sure it is not old and sitting on a shelf for a long time. Make sure it has 10 or more strains of bacteria and is over 50 billion CFU. Take care of your microbiome and it will take care of you in return. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can leave me a comment below or send me a message via Facebook or Instagram. I really appreciate your feedback on my videos and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.